Lucas Media. So I was been I was watching Savage Basketball Facts video about Eric Jordan. Y'all make sure I subscribe to his channel. But on his, he made a video today titled What Does It Mean to Have a Pair of Air Jordans? And he went to talk about some of the bad stuff. And I just kind of wanted to chime in. You know, the negative side about people losing their life and stuff. So I think Michael Jordan, well, obviously, one of the greatest athletes of all time, one of the greatest marketable athletes of all time, has had some of the best iconic commercials out there. But I have to agree with Savage Basketball Facts to a degree. There was a lot of dark that came with it. Really, I would say into maybe like maybe 2015-ish. Down here, at least in Atlanta. I didn't grow up in Atlanta, but down here in Atlanta, you would see thousands of people waiting outside the mall for 40 pair of Jordans. I remember the Space Jams released and somebody pulled up next to me in a car and they didn't even have no their window in the back was knocked out. They had a blanket and it was cold. But they ran up in there to grab those pair of Space Jams and when the mall opened up you just seen people damn near trampling over each other, right? And you know, you've seen people that came from more impoverished neighborhoods breaking their neck to get Jordans. I got an interesting story. Um, my mom, growing up with my mom, we didn't necessarily have anything. But growing up with my father, when I would stay with my dad, he worked for a very great company, so he had money, but... He wouldn't buy me Jordans like that because he felt like Michael Jordan was taking advantage of a, a black of the youth in the black family and really poor families in general. And I really when I look when I look back, he was, but he wasn't because Michael Jordan was he just a worker. Phil Knight was the run that was running the whole show you know Phil Knight and his soldiers so people wanted Michael Jordan to come out and say something he wasn't going to do it because he wasn't going to make Phil Knight mad and wasn't going to mess up their bottom dollar but I mean I just I seen people get they get their Jordan stolen I remember kids in uh, Texas and Chicago was getting robbed for their Jordans I remember them busting in the stores. Y'all remember when they was releasing them throughout the week and so many people were skipping school that they changed it to a Friday, I mean to Saturdays. And I remember when they were like, what, 120? Then they it seemed like they just started creeping up. Now they 200 something dollars. I do think that the only thing that I will say is I do think that they're not as popular anymore because other shoes are up there like the the yeezys and dunks now there are certain jordans that are still coveted but not like how it used to be it used to be anytime the jordans was dropping people was out there grabbing them but yo yeah, it was it was a lot bad that came with it like it felt like you wasn't nobody unless you had on a pair of jordans or pennies or whatever even penny came out and said it was disturbing that people was breaking their neck to get a pair of the the phone posits and you know my pops my father would be like man i ain't buying you no jordans i can get you any pair of jordans that come out but it's the principle they just shoes and at my age they really are just shoes but when we was growing up in the 90s it was like they was everything you could be the most quietest standoffers kid. If you had a pair of Jordans, everybody would dab you up. All the girls looking at you like, ooh, look at them on your feet. It just changed the game, you know? But I agree with Savage Basketball Fact. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. 
he he over there spitting some real stuff over there some harsh truth for a lot of different people but yeah it was it, it was some you know nike and jordan they could have did a whole lot better than what they did with those with those jordans back in you know one more thing before i forget people really was jealous of you when you had a pair of jordans i remember i had a collection right i had i might i know i had at least i know i had at least the first 20 shoes and in some cases i had two three different pairs you know i might have five pair of the tens five pair of the 12s 12s are my favorite ones and one of my little my little brother rest in peace you know he wearing some of my shoes to school and you know he's a senior in high school i'm in my second year in college and they ran up in my crib when we wasn't there ran up in there and stole only certain jordans they took well they took most of the jordans and a few pair of air force ones and at that time i probably had maybe 75 pair of shoes and i would say 60 of them were Jordans. All retros, no team, nothing. You know, and that's just one of the dark sides. What if I what if I would have been there and they would have tried to run up in there while I was there over a pair of sneakers? Over some shoes, y'all. You know, it's it's you know, when we was growing up, Jordans were our version of Gucci. And we didn't have that, any other options. It was like Jordans. Some people wore pennies. But everybody preferred Jordans. Even though I feel like Jordan, some pennies were better than Jordans, honestly. But I just want to get my two thoughts on it. I know it like that. When I grew up in the 90s, where I'm from, y'all let me know. Like I always say, am I tripping? Is it just me? Is it just the environment that I grew up in? Y'all let me know.